There is no most important single technology. There is no single hammer for all nails. So therefore we need better to talk about technology portfolios rather than investing in individual technology options. If there is a generic robust finding emerging out from the assessment is that there are a group of technologies that without width you cannot manage an energy transition. And that's energy efficiency and managing energy demand. These technologies are absolutely vital and if we do not improve on these technologies, we cannot manage the energy transition. From an energy supply side perspective, the assessment concludes that there are certain degrees of freedom. The more successful you are in lowering energy demand through better efficiency, the more flexibility you have for innovation failure on the supply side. So that means it's possible to manage an energy transition to a low carbon future either without nuclear or without CCS, provided that you are very successful in innovating in the domain of energy efficiency and in lowering energy demand. It's also the option that provides the largest co-benefits in terms of social rates of return, in terms of ancillary benefits on air pollution, import dependence and so on. What you don't consume doesn't pollute, doesn't need to be imported. And this is captured in this concept of social rates of return of innovation, where all the available literature that exists, it's not very vast, but all the available literature that exists and was assessed in this assessment concludes that the rates of social return on innovation in Efficiency improvements and energy demand are several fold larger than the social rates of return on energy supply technologies.